Hello students, welcome to the next video of Tricopedia and in this video we'll learn about the shortcut to find the minimum number of NAND and NOR gates required to build any logic circuit and yes, before we start off that, let's learn some, you know, representations of NAND and NOR. If that is clear, then the whole process can be clear to you. Yes, normally if I talk about NAND gate, which is usually preferred for SOP functions. Okay, let me also make a remark that this is preferred for SOP expressions. But first, what is the representation of NAND? The normal representation we all know it is A into B whole bar. Okay, and there is a structure in which first you do the anding as per the logic diagram. And then there is a bubble for inversion AB whole bar. We call it as AND invert. And as per the De Morgan's law, this is A bar plus B bar. Right. Now, if this is A bar plus B bar, I can also implement it using the OR gate. But first I need to complement or bubble the inputs. Here it is the next structure. Yes, bubble the inputs complement the input and feed it to our gate it is the same as NAND gate only and this is known as invert or structure okay so both of them are equal to the NAND gates that means in any given circuit in any given circuit if you are given given an AND gate and OR gate and you want to convert to NAND gate what will you do okay place the bubble at the AND gate output right and place the bubbles at the OR gates input Okay, they are both converted to NAND gate. One and single NAND gate. And similar idea if I apply to the NOR gate here. Similar idea if I apply to NOR gate. NOR gate which is preferred for POS expressions. Okay, and the normal representation is A plus B whole complement. A plus B or whole complement is invert. So it is the OR invert structure. But again by De Morgan's law, this is A bar B bar. So this can also be implemented using AND gate. But for the AND gate, I need A bar B bar. I need the complemented inputs, right? A bar, B bar. So that is why I bubble first. I do the inversion and then, then I go for the AND gate. Invert AND structure. That means guys in any given circuit, if you are given an OR gate or AND gate, if you want to convert into NOR gate, what will you do? Place the bubble at the OR gate output. Place the bubbles at the AND gate inputs. Both of them are now one and single gate. That is a NOR gate. Okay. And that is why we have some procedure. But guys, this is a trichopedia. I want to give you the trick directly. The understanding with the question. Okay. These are some points. The same points I've told you to convert uh, any circuit using NAND gates, place the bubbles at the AND gate output and the OR gate input similarly for NOR gate. And there are three, four points. Okay. But I don't want to go theoretical in this video since it is trichopedia. For your reference, I'm leaving it. You can read it or later on you can take the snapshot. Okay. But let's me go to the problem directly and explain you the working principle. The minimum number of NAND gates required to implement the following circuit. Okay, so the simple logic is I want to implement this using NAND gates. What is the procedure? It is AND or structure. Okay, how to convert AND gate into NAND gate? Bubbles at the output. Done. How to convert OR gates into NAND gates? Bubbles at the inputs. Done. So all of these gates are now converted to NAND gates and I have 1, 2, 3, 4 NAND gates as of now. Okay, but you have unnecessarily placed extra bubbles that can spoil the functionality. But if you look into this particular path, there is no problem because you placed two bubbles in series. Inverter, inverter in series, complement ka complement, cancel each other. So no problem for me. But what about this point? I placed the extra inverter. Logic will be spoiled. Na? So I need to place one more extra inverter. I need to place one more extra inverter and one extra inverter using NAND gate is requiring one NAND gate with both the shorted input. If this is X, this is known as X bar. Okay, so there will be one more NAND gate required here. So one, two, three, four, count number five, right? Similarly, now let's not draw, but I know one single inverter will spoil my logic. So I need to get one more inverter just again like this. So inverter number six, NAND gate number six, here, NAND gate number seven, here, NAND gate number eight, right? Moral of the story is wherever you have bubble bubble in series, they cancel. Aapka, uh, task easy ho gaya. But whenever you see a single bubble, you have to compensate it by placing extra inverter. Okay, one inverter is one NAND gate. So you only have to give me the count. You don't have to draw every time the inverter. So just keep incrementing the count. And I guess answer has become eight. Let's quickly do one more guys. What is the minimum number of? Yeah, okay. What is the minimum number of two input NOR gates required to implement the following circuit? And assuming that the inputs are available only in the true form, even if this is not mentioned, assume that the inputs are available in the true form. So what I'm going to do? Now, please see. What I'm going to do? I need NOR gates. How do you convert OR into NOR? Bubble at the output. Bubble at the output. Bubble at the output. How do you convert AND into OR? Bubble at the input. Bubble at the input. Bubble at the input. Okay, that is done. Everything is now NOR gate. So one, two, three four, five, but now extra inverters I have to see. This is again series, 
no problem they cancel this is also a series inverter okay both the back to back in one path no problem this is also series sir no problem okay till now five but this is an extra inverter so i have to increment it to six okay so that's it six but is the answer six no inputs are only in true form and if you like this is using b bar b bar is not available b is available b bar not available b is available all other are normally used a d e f c that is not a problem but b bar and for b bar again i need an inverter which is created using one nor gate with shorted inputs this is going to give me b bar and i connect here this is nor gate number 7 answer for the question is equal to 7 and dear if you have understood this trick hit the like button and subscribe the channel to get more such videos and stay updated to all of us and this is one homework activity if you have really understood solve it up and i request you to comment the answer in the comment box and then i will tell you whether your answer is correct or not how many two input nor gates are required to implement the boolean function a bar plus b into a plus c plus the only two input gates the so first you have to draw the and or circuit and then convert into the nor as i have told you inputs are available only in the true form okay only true form available same condition is applicable so hope you have liked the trick thank you stay safe and keep enjoying the trickopedia series